hello today i'm going to be teaching you how to use a uh, different kind of uh, style in apex shuffle speed the css style different we have the inline we have the internal we have the external so i'll be showing you how to use the styles so let's go let's dive into it So, as I said, we have the inline, we have the inline, we also have the internal and external CSS. So, I would like to copy this code or better still, don't let me copy it. And just go straight to the so I will also I will use an out, output link command an output link command let's see subscribe This is an output link command. I'm going to add a link to this value. So let me go to my browser. I'm going to be adding a link. This is our click command. Saving it. Saving. Saved. So I want to preview it. So as you can see, subscribe to our channel is showing at the top here. If you click on the link, it's going to take you to the link we added to it. So I don't want that now. Let's go to the let's go back to the so I want to make this this uh, text, I want to make it bold. I can add the H1 tag. I just copy this bit clear there. I'll try to place it anywhere as long as the text is in between. When I save it, I'll click on preview. And see, it is bold. Subscribe to our channel. So I can make this text big. I can make it big. I can add different I can add colors. 
with the CSS inline style. So to do that, okay. Let's also be using the paragraph tag. Paragraph tag. Actually, play the paragraph tag. The purpose of the paragraph tag is to create a paragraph space, paragraph space. When you go to your, you can see it has created the space at the top here. So now that we have added the H1 tag to make it bold. I also add an inline to give it to add fonts and uh, you can also add uh, so we use this tag we use this style attribute so for us to use a style in this uh, in this um, visual force page you can go to w3 school to check i have it opened on my system here w3 school you can check for fonts so you can check for fonts. There are different fonts. Let's use this font. Okay, let's go to font style. I don't want font family. So you can use any font style, font weight. Let's choose. Oh. the font go to the to your preview can see subscribe is now in italic form so you can add so you can add the font color as well to add the font color we go to w2 school this is the color choose any color you want so I'm going to be choosing this Doja blue I'm going to okay, add in it Saved. So let's go back to the so as you can see we have our color so doja blue. So that's pretty much how to use the inline inline style. So we'll be moving on to the internal style. Moving on to the style. 
So we are going to be using the CSS style, which is the style style tag. Style tag. So inside this style tag, you can write any style command. For example, we can use the body. Body command. Use the body command. I even use the h1 tag this h1 tag command there here yeah, this one if you want to give this output link a special if you want to use internal style instead of this inline so let's use the, let's do for the body first so for the body we can use uh, Let's go to W3 school. W3 school use the background color, around color. So let's use this one, just light blue. You cool. Here and paste it. Which is, the, uh, which is the background? Let's save it. Saving. Saving. And saved. So let's review. View our. Yeah, as you can see, we have the whole body of the background. Background of the page. Have it in light blue so you can do this for if you want to if you want to use any command any functionality you can go to w3 school check for anything if it is background image if it is anything if it is border if it is margin I just need to do is use it and place it where you want to use it. Place it where you want to use it. If it is color, border color. So what we are going to do now is we are going to be we are going to be using this same internal style. For each one, each one. So we are going to remove this this style, this style. I'm going to remove this front style. To be using it here, and uh, we're going to be using this color. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put it here. So remember this is h1 tag so we can use this h1 tag in the style as well so everything we define here is going to be reflecting for this h1 anywhere this h1 tag is it's going to be reflecting on it so let's save it we are familiar with C uh, css and html 
So let's go and preview. So, so you can see, you see, it is the same thing. Subscribe to our channel and uh, the color. So that's pretty much how to use the internal CSS. If you have any questions, any comment, you can drop it in the comment section box. And I will respond. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe.